Hey guys, good morning. It's rise and shine. It's time to start building our next set. Let's go. This week, we're taking a trip from San Diego to Fiji. For this week, we were asked to construct a 3D set based on a landmark or other iconic image associated with that location from a past destination color line from OPI. So I chose Fiji. So we're gonna start by building a boatload of fish and sea life and sea creatures and plants. And I'm using OPI's liquid and acrylic powder system here. I think I sculpted about a dozen of these little guys. Um, and I also knew that I wanted a turtle. This is gonna be Terrence the turtle. And he's just amazing and I love him. So um, I knew that I wanted to build a piece that was not just 2D, but I wanted to really push myself and create a 3D set. And my vision was to have all of my sea lives floating together. Um, so I'm building all of my animals um, flat, but then I'm gonna go ahead and flip them and build the underside as well. I'm using my e-drill to soften down the edges and to help my little tortoise shell come to life. I apologize about the centering. Uh, there were lots of hours involved in this. Um, but then I, you know, I made his little fins, I made his flippers, and then I really carefully uh, was trying to get his cute little face together with his eye placement, his little mouth. When I had all of my sea creatures together, I decided I needed to have a little uh, diverse snorkeler. Um, again, I start building her face down. I wanted to give her a big old ba dunk a dunk because you got to look at something while she's in the water. Um, and then I flipped her over as I did with my animals, gave her a nice rack there. I continued to build her and I was really, really specific to try to actually show muscle tone. I know this is ridiculous in her legs and in her arms. Even her butt has a, a sweet little smile line. <laughs> After that, I'm gonna go ahead and paint all of my creatures. Um, I'm using mostly gel polish here. I did use some acrylic paint for the fine details, uh, for example, for the tortoise shell. And I get really OCD, but I had to continuously remind myself that just like our fingerprints, no two animal markings are the same. So I just kind of brought Terrence the turtle to life here. Another thing I wanted to mention about this reef system off the coast of Fiji, it's actually the third largest in the world. It's off the northern tip of Fiji. And that is my inspiration for this set um, of sea creatures and sea life in my underwater oasis. Now that I have all of my little guys painted, um, I used most of the paint, the polish that OPI sent us. Uh, the ones I just, that brought my sea lives to, excuse me, sea creatures to life. I, I used a lot of telenovela me about it. Where are they nice to meet you? Don't tell a soul. Mi casa is blue casa. Coraline, your spirit animal. Here I used Don't Tell a Soul. I mixed it with absolute crystal clear powder. And I wanted to make these sea plant waffle-like things. So after I got the shape, before curing it, I used some of the dipping powder, Miro Miro, on the wall and my Chihuahua Bites. And I went ahead and sprinkled it on to get like the perfect colorization. Here's gonna be the base of my underwater oasis. I used some Susie Slinging Mezcal. I didn't cure it and I sprinkled on some of the Absolute Crystal and I dusted that off and then I secured all five pieces with some more acrylic. I needed to make sure I had a strong structure underneath to hold all of my sea life. Here very, very, very carefully, I am placing, gluing, spraying, and then I actually went back with more liquid powder acrylic to secure all my sea life. Um, notice my sea turtle, Terrence the turtle there, is, it's quite heavy, so it, it really was extremely hard to get that placement. But as you can see, as we kind of float around my final piece here, I'm really proud to say that every angle that you look at, you can see my little fishies. Oh, hey, that booty. <laughs> All of my sea creatures coming to life. I have my plants back there. Thank you so much, Nails Magazine, OPI. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Doss Nail House. Bye.
Don't forget to vote.